You know, I guess I have to explain the goddess Moot, you know, the vulture. Having sex with a bunch of different people is comparable in certain regards to eating a bunch of different people. And you know, eating people is very, very bad. Take, take it from me, I'm a health nut, you know? I'm a health nut for certain reasons. I remember when they were publicizing different illnesses in Barbados, I had every single illness that they were publicizing. <laughs> Seriously, you know, whether you have like little balls on, on the bottom of your feet, you know, when I was in, in Barbados, I had that. So, you know, it just got to a point where I realized that um, every illness, its major root is lack of proper nu nu nutrition, but nutrition is more than what you put in your mouth, and it's even more than what you breathe. It's what you absorb, the chi, the energy that people give off, you know? It's their intents and their thoughts. You understand? The, the uh, body of a person who has, it could be AIDS or it, it could even be schizophrenia, uh, that person's body is is not well, you know, you're a spirit. From your ba, you're, you're a ku, to your shekel, to your ebb, to your ka, to your kaebit, it integrates, you know, as our food. So you're also looking at the evolutionary level the level of enlightenment that a person is on, that you're having sex with, you're absorbing all of that. I found this out in the Heru Fire Circle when I joined the Saraset Society and they started it. Eventually, they taught us Arisa Ankh, which really is Reiki. And there was one person that I had to do Reiki on and I looked at the person and I was really saying to myself, my goodness, you know, this person is not healthy. I did Reiki on the person and I felt terrible. That's not even sex, man. So you just think of cannibalism as dirty and sex too, with different human beings, not purified, toxic, not evolved mentally retarded. I'm not trying to be arrogant, but you have to be a person like me to engage in such behavior and bring those people light and purity and maintain yours. You have to be a staunch disciplinarian on practices for a minimum of seven years. That's why I said, I mean, I guess I should have said it years ago. 10 years of a Saraset society. Uh, for me, I've never been to, to, to Tibet, but it's definitely up there and past it, man. Peace.